Hello everyone, Sika Antonio here and I am ready to go to bed but I just couldn't help myself. I had to turn the cameras on and record this for you guys before I can have my peace and go to bed. Say my peace and go to bed. I hope you guys are all doing well and it's me, yours truly. <laughs> so you guys, if you've been watching from the beginning of June, you would know that I came back into the social media space and declared that I had embarked on a healthy journey. And I wanted to be well, I wanted to change, you know, the way I was feeling, especially with my health and do, you know, have better outcomes, you know, and, um, and so I set out on this journey I decided that I, I had to make some lifestyle changes and, you know, just change a few things in my life, which I'm about to share with you guys. And 144 days in, I wanted to give everybody an update as to how I'm feeling, what I've done differently, and hopefully inspire somebody to embark on the same journey too, um, with the view of improving your current situation when it comes to your health. And so prior to the 8th of June, when I started this whole journey, I was 200 and almost 60 pounds big. I had issues with blood pressure. I, my blood pressure was, you know, starting to become a problem. 157.94, not a good prognosis. I have PCOS, polycystic ovaries. I've had it for 28 years. And my blood sugars have not always been normal, you know, because the condition makes you very resistant to insulin. So, you know, it's like your body can't really use the insulin properly to digest your food, especially the, you know, carbohydrate component of your food. And so it was a difficult time. At the same time, um, the COVID was part of it, but I was going through personal challenges as well mentally, which meant that I was, you know, depressed for want of a, a better word. So there was just a whole host of things going on all at once. And I know myself and I felt like I was spiraling out of control. I needed to do something. I was so petrified of allowing things to progress in the wrong direction with my health and me ending up with things like diabetes. I've had family members who have had that condition and I had I lived through my teens and early adult life watching those people and what happened to them and how painful it was watching them until they finally passed away and I did not want to go down that line. And so I knew that I had to do something. Guys, this is me, Sika, coming out and being real with you guys. And so on the 8th of June, I turned my camera on on my personal profile page and I said that I wanted to embark on this journey. I needed to lose weight. I needed to feel better. I needed to get my blood pressure under control. I needed to have a better prognosis and an outlook on life. And I knew that once I started to improve my health, everything else was going to fall into place. And so I did. Guys, from the 8th of June till now, I am at least two dress sizes down. In fact, three dress sizes down now. I have lost 30 pounds. I feel so much lighter and better. My blood pressure has gone down. I'm no longer 157.94. The last time I checked my blood pressure, it was 122.80. The best reading of a blood pressure for an almost 40-year-old woman. And it's been a difficult year. I know, you know, a year when we've had to race and battle with a pandemic that, you know, have, has never happened in our, most of our lifetimes before. And so it's been a tough year. Um, and 
it's been challenging, you know, to put it mildly, but in the midst of all of that, I managed to achieve all of that. Now, the best part for me, and I, I suppose anyone who's a woman would understand this bit, is that for 28 years of my life, right, I have suffered with polycystic ovaries. It's a gynae condition for women. It's a fertility problem. It's also a, um, you know, a gynecological problem that happens to women. It means that you don't have regular periods. You know, you suffer, you suffer with weight gain issues. You have acne all over your body. You get mood swings. You feel depressed. A whole host of symptoms, you know. One minute you're bleeding excessively, the next minute you're not bleeding at all, you're not ovulating regularly, on and on and on. Abdominal cramps, you know, fibroids, endometriosis, over and over again. It's been a battle for 28 years. And, you know, medically, there's no known cure. So they can manage your symptoms, but there isn't any medical known cure. Mind my words. And so this was my life and it's been difficult, you know, it's been challenging. I talk about it now and I smile and people just think, oh, you know, it's a breeze in the park. But those who actually know me, those who have lived these 40 years with me, my nearest and dearest, my closest family, my friends, the people that have, have seen Sika at her best, and seek her at her worst, know that it's not been a smooth sailing journey. It's not always been easy. And today, from the 8th of June till now, guys, I got introduced to whole food supplements that are made from fresh fruits and vegetables. And, you know, it's, it's okay to be skeptical sometimes. What are these going to do for me? They're just, they're just fruits and veg. What is this? I eat fruits and vegetables every day. What is this whole craze about this? What is so special, right? But sometimes it's good to have an open mind. Sometimes it's good to not allow your being skeptical to then lead you into a place of ignorance and inaction, not, not doing something. You know, so for me, skeptical, yes. But then after a time, I asked myself, well, if these things don't have any chemicals in them, they're just fresh fruits and vegetables and they're full of nutrients that can help my body. What is the harm in trying them? I did my own research. I did my own due diligence and please do the same. If you're listening to a word of what I'm saying, please do the same. Now, they, these products or these supplements, these whole food supplements that I'm talking about have been in existence for 50 years. So the company is not just something that just sprang out of thin air. It's been around the block for a very long time in America, Canada, Europe, and all these places now. It's been around for 50 years. So that's number one. Number two, is that it's the most widely researched set of products. Um, you know, these and these researches are independent pieces of research that have been done England, USA, Canada, name it, you know, New Zealand, Australia, Holland, everybody, Germany, France, they've all researched these products. And so for me, knowing that I'm putting something inside my body that has been that much scrutinized, gave me the comfort to embark on this journey and try them, use them alongside a healthy lifestyle change and see what my prognosis was going to be. Now, like with everything else, right? In life every day, we take risks. We do, every single day. Even deciding to come out of your house, jump into a car and drive to work is taking a risk. There's no guarantee that you get to work in one piece, but you drive every day. 
Uh, if you get on the bus, there's no guarantee that your bus driver will get you to your destination safely. You get on the bus. If you get the train, the same thing. I mean, in most things, with most things in life, it's a risk you're taking, but we're willing to take these risks because we think they're measured. We think, you know, there's a good chance that we'll have a positive outcome. And so we take these risks. And so for me, it was a no brainer. I was fine because a well researched product, no chemicals, no additives, no preservatives, any dietary requirement, anybody with any dietary requirements can take it. Doesn't have any gluten, non GMO, bioavailable. That was very important. Bioavailable means that my body is actually going to be able to recognize these nutrients and actually utilize them so that it's helping my body to heal itself. And so that was me. 8th of June, I was satisfied with everything and I embarked on this journey. I started to incorporate these whole food supplements in my daily living, having them as food and, you know, adapting to or making changes to my my eating and, you know, being more active and all of that, guys. And as I said, 30 pounds lighter and my body is thanking me for it. But the reason why I switched on the camera today is because for 28 years, you heard me, 20 plus 8 years, I have never, ever had a normal period for any length of time without having to have some kind of a medical intervention. But in the last five months, June, July, August, September, October, five months, my periods have come every single month without fail. Doesn't last for any length of time, a week maximum, and it's gone. Guys, you heard me, 28 years to now make a certain change in my life and to have these results, for me, it's mind blowing. You know, I sometimes have to pinch myself. It's like, really, is this, is this actually happening? You know, and I'm so grateful. I thank God for the day that I met the person who decided to talk to me about them. One, two, that, I am a believer, I believe in God, and I thank God that he decided to use these supplements to make my body whole again. And I am super, super grateful for all of those things. I've experienced massive changes inside of my body, things that I never thought I would ever feel. I am feeling my body is repairing itself every single day. Now, somebody listening to me would think, oh, you know, there she goes, just being salesy, just trying to get people to do this and buy stuff and all of that. No, guys, no. If doing this helps one person under the surface of the planet, my job will be done. I feel that it's only right that I share my story with everybody who has ears and wants to listen. Now, the decision to take action is entirely yours, but I know how I felt when I was going through my stuff. When I was in the thick of it and couldn't see a way out, Guys, there's nothing worse than not feeling healthy enough to be able to do the normal things, the everyday things that normal people are able to do. I am lying here at my age and I've been under the knife 13 times, one, three, 13 times. And so I think that I have earned the right to be able to talk about these things and share my life with anyone 
who wants to listen. For me, the fact that I'm still here in itself is a miracle because if I begin to unpack my life, I think it will fit into a book. And maybe that's something I ought to do too. I've had too many people telling me to write a book. Um, but today, right now, I just thought that I needed to do this uh, to speak to somebody who has listened to me, has watched something that I have said and just kind of turned the camera off and just gone off to do their own things. I felt that I needed to give you guys an update on how it's been. It's not all been smooth sailing, that would be lying. There have been days when, you know, I have felt miserable, I have felt down and, you know, just like normal people do because it's life. You don't always wake up all upbeat about stuff. But I think for me, the thing that has always kept me grounded on this 144 day journey is that I always go back to think about why I decided to embark on this journey. So why did I decide on the 8th of June that it was time to change, why? Because guys, the alternative is just not an option for me. I have seen the worst of me and now I'm seeing the best of me. And if I have to choose between the two me's, I think I know which one I would rather have. Um, it's not been all fun and games, as I keep saying. And now I feel like I have arrived or I'm arriving. I'm on a journey. I am nowhere near my destination. But I am so happy with the progress that I have made so far. And, you know, I can look forward into the future with so much anticipation and excitement because I know that things can only get better from here going forward. You've watched me. Maybe this is your first time watching this video. If that is you, welcome to Seeker's World. If you've been watching me for some time and you know a lot about me and you know what I do and you're still sitting on the fence and not taking action, then guys, you are missing out because what I'm doing is not just for people who are like me, who are in the thick of the thick of things with their health. Even if you've got good health now, you still want to make sure that you're maintaining that good health. You know, you'd be sitting there and the things going untoward inside of you, things are going awfully wrong on the inside. But because you feel that you look okay on the outside, you just brush it to one side and don't care about what's going on in the inside. But you know what? Things would have to be rotten inside before you start to show that on the outside. And a lot of the times, by the time that time comes, it's often too late. Things get irreversible or very difficult to repair. You don't want to get to that point where things are so bad before you take action. This year, 2020, if it hasn't taught you anything at all, it must teach you that your health is a very important, valuable asset that you have to guard and protect with your whole life. Because without it, you can't do anything. You can't live and thrive and, and you know, realize or materialize all those dreams that you have inside of you. There's so much that is inside of you that is waiting to burst out and be birthed. But before you can do any of that, you have to be healthy in mind, in body, in spirit, and in soul to be able to deliver. And so guys, Seeker is just here today to inspire you to take action, 
do it. Do it for your family. Do it for your children. Do it for your husband, your wife. Do it for yourself because you know that it is the right thing for you to do. I love you guys. And um, I hope that I've inspired you. My testimony, my progress, and where I'm at today, 144 days later, I hope has inspired you to do something. If you need any more information about, you know, blow by blow, what I've done to get where I'm at, my contact details are on the screen. Contact me and let's have a conversation. But it's time to take action because that's the only thing that can guarantee you desired results. Inaction gets you nowhere. Take a step today. Take the plunge. Take a leap of faith and see where you are in a few short months, just like I have. And it's been the most amazing experience for me. God bless you. I love you. And keep watching. Bye.